Hello and welcome to another out of spec overlanding video. In this video, we're gonna take y'all on a tour of my overlanding trailer that I picked up a couple months ago in Denver for 2000 bucks. So come along with us and we're gonna show you what's inside. So we're here at Four Wheel Parts, just came by to pick up my annex for my Smitty built tent. So we're gonna go set this thing up, show y'all what it's all about, how big this thing opens up to, and just how simple the process is setting it up. So let's head over to Horse Tooth Reservoir and go set this thing up. So what we have here is actually a utility trailer that the previous owner chopped up. He said it was like a 2006 utility trailer. Um, he put a bigger axle on it, so it does have an upgraded axle, which is good. He also flipped the uh, leaf springs to put them on top of the axle instead of below, if you catch that there. Um, but yeah, on it's really light it's so light me and timon were able to just pick it up and move it uh, to put it put it on the uh, jeep and up top here is why i bought this this is a smitty built gen 2 xl tent and uh, if you're familiar with these these run about 1500 dollars or so brand new um, combine that with a trailer that uh, someone's already put a solid frame in i feel like i got a pretty good deal on it um, so what we're going to do is just kind of think about what we're going to be doing with this in the future because we have, I have big plans for this. Uh, one thing I do want to do is put some decking down. Um, as you can see, this is kind of donezo, uh, this uh, diamond grade or whatever we're going to call it. Um, and we're going to put in some plywood down here to make it level. And then also I do want to enclose this somehow for enclosed storage and potentially a place for the dogs. Uh, to sleep at night while we're in the tent um, just so they can have a nice secure place and uh, and have that but that's really all I want to do I only want to be into this thing for maybe another thousand bucks max uh, because it's cheap it's an overlanding trailer oh and the other thing I do want to do that time and suggested I think it's a great idea I want to take these fenders off and I want to put the same wheels that I have on my Jeep and the same tires on the trailer itself Give me some more articulation off-road, better off-road manners, because right now it bounces around like a son of a gun because uh, it's so light and there's not much to it. But it is a super windy day. It's super cold here in Fort Collins. Uh, so we're going to go back to the house and set this thing up and see what it looks like once we get it all set up. Welcome back to three or four days later. Uh, if you're from Fort Collins or the northern Colorado area, you know just how windy it gets here and it's just been too windy to finish this video so what we're going to do to conclude this video is we're going to set up my smitty built xl gen 2 tent to kind of show you all how big this thing gets and what our setup's going to look like for this summer uh, we also just purchased an annex that i'll be setting up as well so let's get started we're going to pop on the time lapse and we're going to set this tent up You join me from inside the Smitty Built XL uh, Gen 2 overlanding tent. So let me show you around. So we don't have the annex all the way put up. I just kind of zipped it up real quick. 
so we can just do this quick video. So down here is the annex. This is where our dogs are hopefully going to sleep and potentially myself. Uh, depends on how well the dogs do. Uh, but up top, we got a king size bed, two skylights up there that aren't open right now. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's really big, nice. Um, the wind is just a killer in setting one of these up. And we got through a couple of hiccups uh, when we were setting this up, but I think we got it figured out a bit better now. So anyway, that concludes this out of spec overlanding video. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for many more adventures in the Smitty Build Overlanding Tent. We're going to take this all over Colorado and take you all along the ride. So y'all have a great day, and we'll catch you on the next one.